Hey guys, for today we'll be taking a look at my top 5 video game collectibles in my collection. And what you see here is not um, the top 5, but just for thumbnail purposes. But one of them is actually in the top 5, a uh, variation of it, which I probably gave away, but yeah. So let's get started, shall we? Number 5 will be the Diamond Select Toys uh, Marvel Gallery PS4 Spider-Man guys can see right here um i think diamond select is a really underrated company in terms of statues just because they're pretty affordable because they range from 40 50 60 70 80 and up you know like i think 40 is like one of the lowest prices depending on the character and depending how well or poorly they sold they're probably in the 40s or whatever but for this guy, I got him at Big Bad Toy Store for $35.99. I am not sure if he's still there at that price or if he's even there at all, but yeah, he is number five. And the reason why is just because the pincers on the spider is too close together. The white or just the paint job in general is a hit or miss. The red is a little too dark for my liking, but other than that, can't really complain for a statue that's you know affordable for those who rarely collect statues you know like I think this guy works but number four is the Kotobukiya Bishoujo Tekken Tag Tournament 2 Nino Williams and sorry for the really harsh lighting it's like from the sun out there but yeah, D Nina Williams is my favorite video game character of all time, and uh, she's my main character I play in Tekken, and yeah. And the reason why I put her at number four is because the artwork is subjective, in a sense, like, this artwork is based on Shunya Yamashita, I think, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but yeah, this is just kind of his interpretation, his, um take on Nina Williams as a character design and in reaction or in actuality she looks nothing like how she did in the um Tekken Tag Tournament 2 game she was more you know realistic quote unquote at the time you know realistic but yeah and I, I guess it's been 10 years I want to say since Tag Tournament 2 which is wow time flies doesn't it and she does range from uh the 90s or to a hundred dollars now back in the day when i had when i bought her she was like 60 or 70 but now she's up there in price but yeah she is number four um number three will actually be an action figure because this is a top five video game collectibles in my collection and it is the hasbro overwatch ultimate zarya which in my opinion is hasbro's best engineered action figure and the thing about this character she looks like she jumps right out of the video game like look how accurate she looks like the sculpting looks great the paint job looks amazing I think this action figure is great and the plus side is you know she she retailed for 20 bucks but um, you can get her now for like ten dollars or even eight bucks eight ten thirteen New in box or loose, either one. Like, I guess because the Overwatch figures, when Hasbro made them, they released them at a terrible time where nobody was like into the video games anymore, or not a lot of people even play the video game. You know, for me, I played. I first played Overwatch back in 2018 when, uh, when Blizzard did the whole free weekend, free to play weekend, and then. Ever since the pandemic, I got this on the PC. I got the first Overwatch game and I enjoyed it. I did not expect to enjoy it as much as I did. So yeah, she is number three into the collection. Let me just put her right here. Number two. Uh, number two uh, tells you that size isn't always everything, but it is one of my favorites in my collection. Uh, gaming collection and it's the Kotobukiya Artifacts Halo 3 Master Chief. I know he's a bit tall, he's like the biggest statue I own in my collection and 
He looks great. Halo 3 is my favorite Halo game ever, and to me, that's where it ends with Halo. I, I don't mind Halo 3 ODST, and I don't mind Halo Reach, but Halo 4 and 5 I never played. And then Halo Infinite I did, just because it's been so long since I played a Halo game, and um, it sucks that the, it, the online for Halo Infinite it had so much potential. I feel like 343 Industries is a bit incompetent, but I'm going off topic, but... Yeah, this statue is amazing. I, I assume he's 12 inches tall. He's really huge. And the price that this guy goes for, I paid $110 for him. Uh, loose. So he did not come with the package. He does come with alternate hands. He comes with the left hand, which is opened, which you can just pop out or swap in. And he also comes with the right hand, which holds the energy sword, which can swap out and swap in and you can do many variations you can do it like this or you can have him hold a magnum or a pistol with an open hand back here or you can have both and you know just so many variations with the statue and i love it like i said the price that goes for him goes from 200 300 400 500 500 is the most i've seen on this statue which is pretty expensive but yeah and I don't base this off on uh, value, my list, I base it off more on favoritism, <laughs> you know? Not just the game, just how the statues look, or how the collectibles look, how it's constructed or made. And yeah, it doesn't resort to just statues, because as you can see, there's one action figure in here. But my number one favorite, in my collection at least, is... The Soul Calibur 6 Collector's Edition Sophitia statue. To me, this is a perfect statue in my collection. I just think from uh, head to toe, she looks perfect. Everything about this uh, statue is amazing. The detail, the paint, it's just clean. And you got Soul Calibur 6 right here. And she does come in a Collector's Edition, so depending on whoops depending on where you find her it really just depends like i got her loose of course without the package or anything and she only comes in the collector's edition of the xbox one and ps4 so either one you pick uh or either systems you pick uh chances are the statue will be included you just gotta look it up and read the description but yeah this is pretty much my top five video game collectibles in my collection. I think these are my favorites. These are the ones I enjoy the most. And yeah, there it is. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys next time.